Welcome to the Team Engagement Podcast, where leaders of teams share their insights. Brought to you by Blue Sky Business Consulting. We discuss five questions in about 15 minutes. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the Team Engagement Podcast. We're excited to have you with us, and I am very, very excited to have our guest today. This is Donna Amelia, and she is the co-founder of EGN in Asia, specifically Singapore and Malaysia and Indonesia. So, Donna, thank you so much. You are clear over there, and you're in Thailand right now. And so I'm excited to have you. I know it's early in the morning for you, but thank you so much for jumping on the podcast. What would you like the audience to know about EGN? Thank you so much for having me, Sean. It's really my honor. So, yes, EGN stands for Executive Global Network. We are the second largest peer network in the world. We do a safe space for senior executives to get together to discuss about their challenges, discuss about certain topics, and basically making each other better. Because we understand sometimes uh, as a leader, we're taking care of a lot of people, right? And that we also understand that sometimes as a leader, we are lonely at the top. Yet you really need someone to talk to. You need to have a a safe space uh, with your peers where you can really discuss about your challenges, getting some new insight, and so on and so forth. So at EGN, we provide that for all the leaders to be better leaders and making each other better. I love that. And that is really important because you're right. It can be lonely at the top. And Mm -hmm. we all need uh, just a little bit of support in that peer network that you provide. That's awesome. So thank you for doing that. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started with our questions. Uh, Donna, how does a business leader know when to pivot in their business? Uh, uh, I think, in my opinion, when probably their current uh, strategy no longer serves the best, perhaps, right? Not No longer competitive and then uh, perhaps no longer sustainable. You can see... Some indicator, for example, the sales are declining, right? And also perhaps uh, you have customer that is not so satisfied anymore. So I guess that are the indicator that you need to be put yeah, uh, at that time. But of course, uh, again, at EGN, that's why also I think it's very, very important for leaders to belong to uh, such a community where you can really always be uh, in, the, um, in the head of your game, right? Understanding the trending, what's going on uh, in your uh, environment, surrounding and your industry, for example. And then, yeah, get some inspiration uh, from others as well. So then you can avoid those kind of things. But even if, let's say, you have those kind of challenges, you have someone to talk to, to discuss and all. And at EGN, if, let's say, you are open up about your challenges, whatever it is, right, perhaps the other leaders already been there and they can tell you the do and don'ts because uh, we do uh, uh, believe you cannot always be good by yourself. Sometimes when you always thinking about your own company and all, maybe you are biased, right? You might not able to talk to your uh, people because of hierarchy, confidential, and so on and so forth. However, at EGM, because we gather senior executive from different industry within the similar level, it's confidential. They can really talk about these kind of challenges and navigate their challenges and helping each other and grow together. That is great. It's really important when you were considering pivoting to just talk to people. And it's great to have something like EGN that can help people talk in a confidential setting. Yes, definitely. Very Uh good. All right. Question number two, share with the audience one of your company's core values and how that value helps you make decisions. We have a few values and I really love this two of it, which is uh, collaborative growth and also our uh, motto to always making each other better. Again, when you as a leader understand that you cannot be only good by yourself, you always need someone to talk to. So then you can get some insight you that you might not think about it. And within this kind of circumstances where you can always be ahead of your industry and all, you might get some inspiration that made you able to have a better decision making, basically. So I think that is very important. So I always love uh, this collaborative uh, system at EGN that we collaborate with other leaders. We discuss our challenges. We're being vulnerable. We're being open because sometimes also this is uh, hard for leaders, right, to not being uh, uh, seen because sometimes, especially perhaps in Asia, uh, but actually it depends from person to person, but being able to ask for help, being able to be vulnerable is not easy for a leader because they might uh, afraid of being seen 
uh, incapable or also uh, being seen as weak, right? But actually it's not. But of course, as a leader, you cannot just be vulnerable in front of everybody randomly, right? So of course, you need to be able to have, again, a space or a, a, a community that can really uh, have a platform to help you within your challenges and all. And collaborate within each other. And then again, the magic will happen because once you collaborate with other, and then you will be able to decide better. You can get some inspiration and then you can lead your company better. Yeah. I like that. And I like your phrase, collaborative growth. I think that that's a really important perspective and value to think about is this idea of growing together in a a spirit of collaboration. Yeah, definitely. Very good. All right. Question number three. What is one tip that you have for leaders that need to hire and to hire top talent? Can I give two? Sure. <laughs> I think very important, uh, especially I mean uh, what uh, during uh, my my work with EGN and all. I think cultural fit is very important, right? That is one because I'm based in Singapore for the uh, last six years, for example, and it's a hub, right? And people come from all over the world, right? And then our members, we're serving people also globally. So I think having a a talent that uh, culturally fit with our uh, values is very, very important. I always think it's very important that the, the candidate, right, or the talent need to buy our values, especially now with this uh, Gen Z and millennials and all, they really care about the value. What value is this uh, company? Are their values aligned with mine or not? So I think this cultural fit is very, very important, right? And then uh, secondly, I think inclusivity is also important and diversity. So again, to me, uh, with this collaborative growth mindset and all, when we are really inclusive, we get uh, we, we have uh, as diverse as possible when we're hiring talent. Again, that's going to make our decision and our team also like richer, right? And then, yeah, we can have a better uh, uh, organization with the better understanding and better insights from uh, many people from different kind of background. So those are the two things. Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. So... The, uh, the the kind of the when I the phrase I use is higher to culture and then values alignment is what I'm hearing from you. Does that sound about right? Yes, yes, yes. Value alignment super, super, super important. <laughs> All right. Question number four. What's one idea that you can share for leaders to help develop strengths within their company and within their employees? Hmm. Again, can I give you two? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> So I guess uh, for me, uh, within my uh, company, my team, basically, I think I love to give them trust uh, by empowering them. Right? I think it's very, very important. I work a lot with this uh, millennial and Gen Z. And what some other people say that, oh, working with them is this and that. Actually, they are doing awesome job when you give them a trust and the empowerment within their strength of course right so then you as a, a team leader as a leader you can see and you can uh, give the trust give the empowerment to for them to do a certain uh, like project and all and then of course you monitor it right and then you will see which one that flourishes and then of course if they make some mistake and whatnot right so then this is your your, your part to really like give them some guidance and so on and so forth so that is, um, what is it, the, the empowerment and also the trust. But also, I think it's very important for us to keep giving them feedback, right? Not only from us, but from also our, um, like within their, their colleagues and all. So I think the environment of trust is very, very important because when, you, uh, when people are really feeling uh, honored and feeling trusted and are also feeling safety to really give feedback and all, they're not afraid to, to make mistakes and all, and they can always keep uh, innovating and so on and so forth. So that's our, those are my, my tips. <laughs> Love that. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. All right, our last question. Tell us a little bit about your first job. Ah, okay. So actually, uh, for 15 years, so my first job ever in Indonesia, I was a singer. I'm a professional singer, actress, and TV presenter. So my whole life is all about TV, 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 right? And then I fall in love with my current now uh, husband. He took me away for holiday. And until now, I didn't uh, come back to Indonesia. (laughs) And I'm being an entrepreneur instead. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. I don't think I've ever had a singer before. This is great. 
Yes, I'm a professional singer. I already uh, made my own album since 2007 when I was uh, still in the university. I made a few albums and all. I travel uh, the world for singing. And then also I do many movie series in Indonesia and also, uh, yeah, being TV presenter for many, 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 many programs on TV. So my whole life is all about TV, 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 TV. Wow. Yes. And then uh, when I move uh, abroad, I only can sing and also uh, do DJing. But then, yeah, now I'm focusing on being an entrepreneur, basically. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. I, I'm I have a celebrity on my podcast. This is great. Oh, you're so kind. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Don. I have really enjoyed our conversation today. And I have to, I pointed this out before we started the recording, but I got to point it out again for everybody to hear. You have the greatest smile I think I've ever oh. seen. So if anyone is listening to this podcast, make the effort to go watch the video on YouTube and you got to see Donna's smile because it's, it's fantastic. Oh. So that's great. Thank you. So kind. Thank you. Oh, you are very welcome. Dona, how can people find you? Yes. So uh, I'm very active on LinkedIn. Uh, so you can find my name, Dona Amelia, D-O-N-A space A-M-E-L-I-A. And also uh, my Instagram, also the same. Uh, just you add Miss. So Miss Dona Amelia, M-I-S-S. D-O-N-A A-M-E-L-I-A. Also similar with Facebook. My Facebook is Dona Amelia, D-O-N-A-A-M-E-L-I-A. And for those who want to know about EGN, you can go to the EGN website, egnpeernetwork.com. Fantastic. Thank you. And thank you again for taking time to be on the podcast. I really appreciate it. It's been a wonderful delight to have you here on the podcast with us. And thanks to everybody for taking time to join us every week or every other week, whatever pace we're on here these days. Um, to join us for the podcast to talk about leadership and teams. We appreciate it very much and wish everybody a great day. Thank you so much, Sean. Really, really honored to be here with you today. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Bye. This is Sean Richards with the Team Engagement Podcast, where leaders of teams share their insights. For more ideas, go to teamengagementpodcast.com. We also invite you to follow or subscribe to our podcast wherever you may be listening or watching. Is your business thriving? Go to tbs-score.com to find out. Thanks for joining us today. Have a great day.